Good morning everyone, it's Sunday, it means it's range test time and today we have the Tesla Model 3 Highland all-wheel drive long range, not the performance model and for me it's amazing because this is my first range test with the Tesla Model 3. I never did one, I had one for a day for, to do the thousand kilometer drive and I test drove it twice from a service center. Not for a long time so this is my first real range test with a model 3 i'm very excited i'm doing this on sunday because on Ger in german highways on sunday there are no trucks and so i can drive the speed of now 130 and then later 110 more constant and it's better for the range and it should be better so i'm charging to 100 percent we go on the highway driving 130 kilometers an hour gps speed and then we arrive on the other side at iona t at a lower state of charge so 10 15 percent and then we calculate the range should be a nice day no rain not too hot not too cold amazing should be a great result this model 3 has 19 inch wheels on by the way and it, it's not the full covered one so the mega aero um, wheels but it does stuff in it <laughs> So this looks better than the old one. I don't know if this is the new version with, that comes with Highland or you can still cover it up more. I have no idea. I am on my way, I'm driving 132, uh, that's GPS speed 130, I'm already at 92%, this is my screen, there's nothing there, <laughs> um, I drive cruise control speed of course, uh, my climate is in 19 degrees, I think it's heating a tiny bit if even, because it's 17 degrees out there and on the way to the charger, heat, heated up the interior, I don't think it's doing too much, if it even does anything. Um, my trip data, where is it here? Hidden away. Uh, trip data, 32, it's trip A, 32 kilometers driven, 200 watt hours per kilometer is my consumption right now. But as always, the first 10 kilometers were uphill. I'm at 75% and I drove 91 kilometers. Average consumption is still 201 and 91 kilometers would mean a 380, 364, yes, 364 kilometers, <laughs> oh my God. It's 16, 17 degrees out there. I have 20 degrees on my uh, climate, so it's heating up a bit. And so this cannot be 100% compared to my ID7 test last week where I drove at 20 to 24 degrees with no AC, no heat. Here is a bit of heat, um, but still the difference is bigger than I thought. In the Model Y I got at the end, wasn't it 380 kilometers, something like this? I can't remember. I have to turn around very soon. I was just at 50%, I missed it, I'm so sorry. It was 186 kilometers around that. <laughs> I'm so sorry. 186 would be 372 kilometers, am I right? I think so. Consumption went a bit down, 197 watt hours per kilometer now, still 17 degrees. I'm still at 20 degrees for my climate. Autopilot doesn't work right now because I wasn't holding the steering wheel as it wanted, even though it said turn the steering wheel a bit, I did. 
and it still didn't recognize me and then it said for this drive you can't use autopilot anymore it happens every time with me i don't know what i'm doing I just turned around, I'm going back to the charger, I navigate to the, char to the charger, it doesn't say that it's preheating the battery and if it will do that, if it gives me the message, I will turn it off because then it's not uh, the real number of consumption that we want and not the real range. It says I arrived with 10%, um, I was hoping it would be under 10% but I'm okay, I can go to a different charger to do my charging test. Um, my data is still uh, 195 watt hours per kilometer average consumption. At 34%, I have 166 kilometers of range. Uh, we'll see if this is true because then it's I will have 79 kilometers to go back. I can just see how they improved this car for the previous model when it comes to road noise. Um, comfortable, comfortable a bit, but especially road noise, it's really quiet at 130. I have no problem with it. It's nice and relaxing. So the cruise control, it's fine. It holds the speed um, and everything. Why is there no resume? Why every time I have to stop and then I go back? Why do I have to put in the next speed again? I have to accelerate to that speed and turn it on again. Why is there no resume button? where it just goes to the speed that I had before. I don't get it. It's really annoying. This video is supported by Mangao Autostrom. With Mangao you can charge at over 600,000 charging stalls all over Europe. 127,000 of those are in Germany. You can use the app, you can use the card or you can use this tiny little chip which is amazing as well. And they also have a new app, they update it constantly, but they had a big update a few weeks ago. Just check out the the app now because it's really awesome you can see all of your chargers and how fast they can charge you can filter the map and you can see the availability if the charger is really available check them out in the link in the description below thanks for supporting i arrived with 10 percent drove 346 kilometers average consumption 190 watt hours per kilometer so if i take the 346 kilometers that i've driven and the 90 percent that i've used i get to 384 kilometers of full range i put in here all the data tire size the temperature average speed i went to p once had to get a bit off the highway so i it's possible that i will deduct it so the kilometers will be less and the time you see the average speed it was 16 to now 19 20 degrees now um, 384 kilometers. I'm doing now a charging test at Ionity and I will do a, a supercharger uh, V3 as well. But this is just for the long because supercharger is only in the bottom where it's a bit faster than here. And I want to see that. And it was a, a good drive, um, good um, good speed, no no traffic at all. It could hold the speed amazingly well. That was awesome. The, the battery didn't preheat going to here, but I got the full speed what Ionity can give me, 180 eight kilowatt or so because it's limited to 500 amp i'm happy with that charge it to 90 percent we go to the other ionity and then i'm going to do the next range test if you want to follow me on instagram battery life one and if you want to support the channel there's a patreon link in the description below and here on youtube there's also channel membership but that's it for me thank you much for watching have a great day and take care bye